Leave it to Dave Chappelle to spotlight the hypocrisy of Trump supporters who stormed the Capitol. In a new stand-up routine, Chappelle points out that many of the Trump supporters who took part in the insurrection on January 6th are the very same people who criticized former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick for taking a knee during the national anthem as he silently and nonviolently protested the treatment of black Americans by police officers. Watch the tapes. Watch that crowd that told Colin Kaepernick he can't kneel during a football game, try to beat a police officer to death with an American flag. Look at that. That's what white people did. They felt what black people have been feeling for 400 years, for 30 minutes, stormed the Capitol and rubbed their on the walls. They carried a Confederate flag through the rotunda. The Confederate Army didn't even do that. Mother you went very far. It was a simple question. Do you have a country or not? And you said no. My God, man, we're in quite the pickle, aren't we? You know, it's, it's interesting, Brianna, not to just go far, too far off on a tangent, but I'm sure you've seen this thing that would happen with The Bachelor and, and with the host of The Bachelor saying, you know, the, what the young lady did in 20, it was 2018 and we weren't looking at the world through that lens. Yes, we were. Racism has been around this country forever. It is the inception. It started at the inception of this country. And until we go back to the beginning and we start to deal with those things, then we will never address this problem properly. We will never correct this problem. And the, the one thing that I completely agree with Dave Chappelle on is that if you solve the black man's problem, you solve the problem of the black man, I mean just black people in general in this country, you will solve the bulk of the problems in this country. You will solve the racism problem, you will solve the poverty problem, you'll solve the discrimination problem, you'll solve the health care problem, you'll solve all of those things because it will lift the veil on all the indignities that have been done to people uh, throughout the history of this country, starting with the original sin of this country, and that's racism. All right, Shalom, Israel, Most High, Christ bless. Welcome to another edition of 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Josiah to my right. Soldier Noam. Today's topic is how to fix the world. How to fix the world. We're going to delve into the Bible and see what the Bible says, but uh, we just heard a clip, a little short clip from Dave Chappelle and uh, Don Lemon. Don Lemon says, uh, he said, if you fix the black man's problem, or black people in general, you'll fix the bulk of the problems in this country, right? So let's delve into the Bible to see what the Bible says. Psalms 82, verse 5. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. What did the Bible say? All the foundations of the earth are out of course. So now... That's the condition that we live today. It says all the foundations of the earth are out of course, meaning everything is turned upside down. Read on. Verse six. I have said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high. Mm -hmm. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. And that's the reason. That's the reason right there why the earth is out of course. Because the men that he called the sons of God are not in their God-like state. They fell like men. Read it one more time from verse 5. Verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. Yep. All of the foundations of the earth are out of course. Uh -huh. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Talking about the Israelite man, okay, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man. Okay, go ahead. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Why is that? Because we broke God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Okay? So we fell like regular men. And that's why the earth is out of course. So now we say, well, if you fix the black man's problems, everything else will be fixed. You're right. Right, right. That's right. Because why? The black man, Hispanic man, Native American man are the gods on the earth. Okay? We're the ones that's supposed to set this country, this, this world, okay? in its proper order, through the laws of God. Give me Isaiah 29 and verse 13. Isaiah chapter 29. It might be, it might be 16. Let me look. 29. Yes, 16. The book of Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 16. 
Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him. So, so now this is talking about the so-called white man. It says surely what? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Mm -hmm. So now they turn things upside down. They turn this entire world upside down. They told you just a small example. The description of Jesus Christ. Okay, the Bible tells you he's a black man with woolly hair, but what do they give you? What image do they give you? A Caucasian man with straight, straight blonde hair, blue eyes, or whatever the case. Right. Okay, read again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, and verse 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Uh -huh. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it? He hath no understanding. One more time. He hath no understanding. From the top, surely. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. So what is that saying? The, the way they turn things upside down, the most, high, the most high is the potter, by the way, because he created all things. So through this Bible and, and his prophets, he's going to turn everything that they turn upside down right side up. He's going to fix everything. Okay, that's what that's saying there. Surely your things, surely your turning of things upside down, upside down, shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. The Most High is going to fix everything and put it back in its proper order. Okay, through His men raising them back up to who they are, according to the Bible. Right. That's right. All right. From there, give me um, uh, Second Corinthians four. Second Corinthians four, and verse three and four. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Go ahead. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them. This is the part I wanted. In whom the God of this world. Go ahead. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. And what Christ. is that going into? Just in general. The white image of Christ and his philosophies, his doctrines. Okay, that's the God of this world. It says it have blinded the minds of them that believe not. Meaning what? In the true image of Christ, according to the Bible, and who the Israelites are. Go ahead. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Right. From there, give me a Habakkuk. Okay. Habakkuk chapter two. You know what, before we get Habakkuk, give me Isaiah 29, Isaiah 29 and 13, because that said the God of this world have blinded the minds of them, right? Okay, watch this, Isaiah 29 and 13. The, the book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Yep. Wherefore the Lord saith, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth mm -hmm. and with their lips do honor me. So we draw to the Most High with our mouth and our lips. Oh, I love God. I love Jesus. Go ahead. But have removed their heart far from me. Uh-huh. Meaning, meaning what? Your mind. You have removed your mind far from this Bible. Go ahead. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. You see that? So we have to ask ourselves, who taught us? When we came here, we were destroyed. Okay? Because remember, the, the key is, if you fix the black man's problems, you'll fix everything else. Right? That's the topic. So who taught us the Bible when we were destroyed, right? right? Who taught us? The so-called white man, right. okay? So the precepts of men that it's talking about is their doctrines, their philosophies, that image of Christ that they taught us, okay? Read it one more time. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth yep. and with their lips do honor me, yep. but have removed their heart far from me, uh -huh. and their fear toward me is Our taught. understanding of God. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. We learned the Bible in slavery, okay? No, it's not, nothing's wrong with the Bible itself. But remember, 2 Corinthians 4 and 4 said, the God of this world have blinded the minds of them that believe not. This is saying the same thing. We were taught by the precepts of men. That's right. So that's why we're in the conditions we're in today because the things that we've been taught from the Bible are from people that don't understand the Bible. Okay? 
that teach us contrary to what the Bible says. So fixing the black man's problems doesn't involve us going to another nation. No. Okay, to your own people, your Israelite brothers and sisters, to learn this true gospel. All right, from there, give me um, Habakkuk, what I just asked for a second ago. Uh, Habakkuk chapter 2. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 2. Remember the topic, okay, fixing the black man's problems. So how to fix the world, right? Watch this. And the Lord answered me and said. That's Habakkuk 2. Habakkuk chapter 2. Give, and me, give me verse 5. Verse 5. Yeah. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. So now, the he, what's it, same, same people, that he is the so-called white man. It says he transgresseth by wine. The wine is talking about lies, okay? His doctrines are a bunch of lies. But it, it says wine because it sounds good. It may be soothing to, to the ears and so forth, okay? Read it again. Yea, also. Because he transgresseth by wine. Yep. He is a proud man. He's a proud man. Neither keepeth at home. And that's the proof right there. Neither keepeth he at home. This man is in everybody's country, everybody's land, trying to take over the resources. That's, that's the proof it was talking about. Read again. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine. Yep. He is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home, uh -huh. who enlargeth his desire as hell, uh -huh. and is as death. So now, why, why do we read that? Because that's the conditions that we live in today under this man. Hell and death. Okay? That's the condition. So when they say, if you fix the black man's problems, everything else will be fixed, you're 100% right. But guess what? It ain't going to happen here. Okay? Not until we begin to do what we're supposed to do, according to the Bible. Read it again. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 5. Yea, also, because he hath transgressed by wine. Yep. He is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death. You see what it says there? And is as death. It says he enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death. That's what this, that's, this man's nature is as hell and death. Okay? So you wonder why... Uh, the conditions we live in are literally ghettos, slums, right. okay? Resources being robbed and stolen, right. okay? Read on. And cannot be satisfied, uh -huh. but gathereth unto him all nations. That's further proof. And not only does he not stay in his own land, he goes to everybody else's land to steal resources and set up uh, military bases and so forth. But it says also he brings all people to him, right? Read that part again. But, but gathereth, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people, and heapeth unto him all people. So that's the proof of who is talking about. Okay, so the conditions we live in in this country are going to be as hell and death. So yes, how do we fix the black man's problems? Let's get further into it. Give me um, Psalms one forty seven nineteen. Okay, this is the book of Psalms. You know what? I got to get one more. Isaiah five on that same same train of thought right there. Isaiah 5 and 13. That's the point I wanted. Okay, to further prove the conditions we're in right here. The book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 13. Yep. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. Notice it says, my people. It's not all people. Read it one more time. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. My people are gone into captivity. Go ahead. Because they have no knowledge. You see that? Because they have no knowledge. Okay, go ahead. And their honorable men are famished, mm -hmm. and their multitude dried up with thirst. Watch this. Verse 14. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. You see that? So because the laws of God are not being applied, it says, uh, my people are going into captivity because they have no knowledge. Then it says 14 again. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. That's the conditions we're living in. Okay. Hell have enlarged herself, okay, because we don't have knowledge as a people, right? Go ahead. And open her mouth without measure. Yep. And their glory and their multitude and their pomp, and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. Right. So now, what happened? Okay. We went in, it says right here, we went into captivity because we didn't have knowledge. Meaning what? We didn't apply what this Bible told us to do. Okay, so he allowed this man to overtake us. Okay, so our conditions are not going to be fixed here. Okay, but that is the key. How to fix the world? Yeah, you got to fix the black man first. 
because the black man is going to raise up his wife and his children to do the same thing. Okay, it's a trickle down effect. All right, now give me that Psalms 147. This is the book of, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. 19. Yep. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. So right. So you remember earlier we read the scripture in Psalms 82. It said um, all the foundations of the earth are out of course. And it says ye are gods and you shall die like men. Okay. The foundations of earth are out of course because the gods on this earth are not ruling. And the only way that earth is going to be back in its proper course is when they're put back in their position. Why? Because God, read that again. This is why. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. Yep. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Uh -huh. He hath not dealt so with any nation. You see that? So, yes, if we're not in our proper condition, the earth is going to be out of course because the Most High did not show his word to any other nation. So no other nation knows how to properly set this earth up in its proper condition. They don't know how to do it. Okay? They don't know how to do it. Give me um, Baruch 3 and 36. Baruch 3 and 36. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 36. He hath found out all the way of knowledge. Mm -hmm. That's talking about the, the, he is the most high. He hath found out. He created knowledge. He created all things, right? And did what? And hath given it unto Jacob his servant, and to Israel his beloved. You see that? He gave all knowledge to Israel. So until Israel is fixed, everything else is going to be out of course. That's right. Okay? Give me uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. Okay? Got two more, I believe. Proverbs 29 and 2. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29 and verse 2. Watch this. This when is the when the righteous are in authority. And now, the, notice, when the righteous are in authority. Go ahead. The people rejoice. Yep, you see that? When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Go ahead. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. You see that? But when the wicked are, are uh, what does it say? But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Right. Okay? That's the conditions we're in now. The wicked are in authority. So guess what? Hell hath enlarged itself, whereas in death and so forth. Okay, all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Why? Because the wicked rules. Right. All right, read it one more time. The book of Proverbs, chapter 29 and verse 2. Yep. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when, but when the wicked rule, the people mourn. So now, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. That's the conditions everybody's waiting for. When the righteous is ruling the earth. Last one, um, Romans 8. Romans 8 and 23. Uh, no, 19. Romans 8 and 19, excuse me. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 19. Yep. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. You see that? It says, for the earnest expectation of the creature. That's everything upon the planet. The animals, the trees, the water, the winds. The sun, the moon, the stars, okay, all the nations. It says what? For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. You see that? So, yes, Don Lemon, that was a true statement, okay? Until you fix the black man's problems or black people in general, okay, the, the, the problems in this country are not. Well, he said it the other way. You got to fix his problems to fix everything else. Right. But that's what this is saying. Everybody and everything is waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. Everything is waiting for us to be put back in our rightful place. Okay? So, with that, that's the lesson. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, 
These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I U I C, we deliver the truth.